everybody. Today I have a nice little box that I want to show you named Roku. And what this little device does is that it lets you actually stream your Netflix movies from your watchable playlist onto your TV like you see behind me or you can actually now take it on the go which I'm going to show you how to actually how I used the Roku box in my vehicle at all times and it actually lets me carry my movies with me wherever I go so definitely stay tuned in the next few minutes and I'll show you the two parts of the video the first one I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your home and the second one I'll show you how to put this to your vehicle you are going to need an EVDO card like a Verizon wireless card in order to have this internet because you're going to need to set that up and you also are going to need a wireless mobile router which I'll show you what that is and remember to visit aramistech.com for all the links to all the information you're going to need in this video to make this happen happen for you at home and at the, uh, at the vehicle. Uh, remember this little box goes for about $100 so you can actually have one at home and one in the car and you can actually watch that. Not only does it watch the Netflix um, uh, movies but you can also use the um, Amazon account. So if you have an Amazon account it will let you uh, view movies from your Amazon uh, purchases. So stay tuned in the next few minutes. Thank you for watching. All right, this is the Roku box right here. It comes with a nice little remote that comes included. So you can actually use this uh, um, very nice. And it has a good range actually, because in my vehicle, I put this between the seats and the remote actually works perfectly fine. So it has a good range. Um, the box itself, when you turn it around, you have all the ports right here and you have the composite uh, ports here in the back. So you can use regular RCA cables. You have an S video connection that you can use here. And also you have an HDMI connection you can use here. You also have a LAN 10100 uh, network card right built in here. Uh, you can use a wireless that's built in here because this has wireless already built in. So when you first connect it, it's going to ask you if you want to set it up and if you want to actually set it up wireless or with the cable itself. So if you have it wired, you can actually do that. If you don't have a cable next to your TV, that's not a problem as long as you have a good range with your router, with your wireless router. This is the power connector and here you have the, uh, the optical audio port that you have on here. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you in a minute how you connect this device. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you in the back here, I have here for the TV, I have an S-Video, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, HDMI cable that I have here, and I have a network cable here. I mean, I have ready the connection right there, so I can actually use that, or you can use the wireless. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the actual HDMI cable uh, and plug this in because it gives me a better, I think, better signal than the RCA cable, but that all depends on the screen and, and also your quality of signal. So here I put, I have it already connected, I have my little box, and now all I need is the power for it. So basically you just grab your adapter, your power adapter, connect it here in the back. Now everything's powered on. And now on your TV, you will see the Roku box come up for the first time. And uh, once it comes up, it'll show you the menu of all the uh, movies that you have. Remember, this pulls your playlist right from your Netflix account. So when you have a Netflix account and uh, you have it set up, you can pay as little as $8.99 a month and actually have all your movies on here. So let me show you in a second how this actually works out. Once your Roku box is active, you can log into your Netflix account and look at your Watch Instantly queue. And basically, you can search through the titles. They have thousands of titles. Uh, on there and uh, they add new ones every month there's plenty of choices to pick from and just simply click on one of them and add them to your queue once you're ready to go it will show up right on your Roku box so you'll see it on your playlist on the actual TV once you access your playlist on the Roku box you can just skim through your show find the show you want click on it and play it and it's that simple Alrighty, so here in part two of this, I'm gonna show you how to actually take Netflix with you with the Roku box on the go in your vehicle. Now, if you have a TV in your car, this is gonna be an easy thing to connect. And what you are gonna need is internet in the vehicle. And now the easiest way to get that is sign up for a Verizon wireless service. Like I have this particular Verizon wireless card, which I use, and this card right here actually gives me um, internet access wherever I'm at. So uh, you can use this card and connect it to a router, which uh, I have here. Now there's a video that I have on the web and I'm going to actually post links on it in the description so you can check it out which shows this in detail, this router. But you can actually buy this um, mobile router and connect the uh, EVDO card that uh, you buy from Verizon to it. And now you have a router that has wireless internet and it will transmit it to your vehicle. Now this particular router that I bought here has a 12 volt adapter. So you basically can plug it into any 12 volt adapter lighter and use it directly there. 
Alrighty, so here I have all four devices that I'm gonna need. I have the power converter, the Roku box, I have the uh, router with the Verizon wireless card, and I also have a TV here, okay, which has, I already have the cables uh, going out of the TV itself. So they're coming out of here and it's a composite cable, okay? So I have all three here. Now, to power this up, I have a Kyocera router here that will actually give me Wi-Fi internet in the vehicle using the EVDO card from Verizon. Uh, I will put, like I said, the links on the description so you can actually check out the video where I explain this thoroughly. But uh, this router has a cable, a 12 volt adapter, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that 12 volt adapter right in here. So now it's powering up, and uh, in a little bit, about a minute or so, I'll have internet here in the car. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect the uh, power converter to the uh, 12 volt adapter. So let me uh, plug that in here. And then we get that going. As you can see, it's already running. This one's a little loud. It's a bigger power converter. You can probably get a smaller one that actually will do the job just as well because the Roku box does not use a lot of power to, uh, for the device. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the Roku box in, the, in right here, 110 adapter that it has. So now the Roku box is powering up. And in the meantime, I'm now gonna connect the TV. So here I have the, th the three composite cables. I'm gonna connect uh, you know, the yellow one right here red one and the uh, white one there we go so i have now the audio cables and the video all connected these cables are going directly to the tv in the car if you have a tv in the back of the car uh, similar to this here uh, you can use one of those and it's the same uh, type of function it should have also cables just as well like this in this case once i plug all this in and this is up and running if you go here to the screen on the tv itself now you will see the roku box has it's powered up and actually you will see on the screen itself um, the Roku screen the home screen coming up and in a bit and it'll take you about a minute or so it'll connect to the uh, to the account I already have the uh, Roku box set up to connect to the uh, Kyocera uh, router so this will give me internet automatically once this is powered up all right so here I have the queue and it's now coming up and I can use the remote control to, uh, from the Roku box to go through all the shows. And uh, if I find a show I like, and in this case, for example, uh, you know, I just go to any of the shows and uh, it'll show me, basically I have here the series and some of them are just episodes. But let's say, for example, I just choose the Pink Panther. And it'll show me there the show and I can just go ahead and uh, click to play it. And it's gonna load up. And at the bottom on the right, it says the quality of the signal. You know, with the Verizon, I got the best signal. It's a really good, strong signal. And once it's ready to go, it'll stream the movie and it'll show it to you. So it takes a little bit, maybe about 30, 40 seconds or so, or a minute, depending on, on the movie, and it depends on your signal. The more quality the signal, the better it is. Obviously, in your vehicle, you don't really need that kind of signal because this, for example, is a seven inch screen. So you don't really need that strong, uh, you know, quality of video because it's a small screen anyway. So uh, if you have two or three, that's perfect. Uh, in this case, like I said, the show will play in a second and you'll see how it actually runs. What's neat about taking this with you is that if you pause this show and you get home, when you stop it, you actually can uh, pick up where you left off when you pick up uh, the Roku box inside the house. So it's neat to have multiple boxes like this. You can have one of these in the car and one in the house. So you can always have uh, multiple ones and you can use it to watch the TV. Now, what I want to tell you is uh, the um, Verizon wireless service does offer five gigabyte cap so you want to make sure that uh, you know you don't use this as your mainstream thing to watch TV. But since you're in the car for a short period of time, maybe 30 minutes, an hour, uh, you won't go over that five gigabyte cap. So you should be pretty good to go. Uh, I haven't actually had that problem, and I've used it already for a few months, so it works really good. Uh, like I said, all my shows work perfectly fine. And uh, if you want to go back to your shows, you can always go back to Netflix here and go to your streaming shows and pick a show and right from there. And all this is using the wireless technology from the EVDO car. I found that Verizon Wireless was the fastest, so it actually works really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, remember you need a power converter, the Roku box, and you also need the uh, router that you're gonna, the mobile router that you're gonna need to hook up the EVDO card with it. All the description is gonna be there, so remember to visit aramistech.com, and in the description, I'm gonna put the link so you can check out all the details that you're gonna need for the, for the, to set this up. Thank you, I appreciate you watching all of my videos.